Hey, what's going on, everybody? Boylan here, back for a video on Marvel Strike Force. Today, we're going to be doing that uh, test video that I said that I was going to do. So, we're going to be here tackling the Alpha Flight nodes again for the second time. However, this time we are using more what I'm going to dub free to play early access star levels, or it's going to be like two, three star kind of levels just to see how much the stats make a difference. Because when I did it the first time, I was at 5 5 for all the new characters. And so, I want to see how hard are these nodes actually uh, when you do it now uh, just so we'll, we'll kind of just show you the team here now they are level 100 so that explains why some of their power levels are a bit higher on the scale because you do get a lot of like actual number values out of level 100 so we have uh, sunfire and wolverine there i'm gonna put them here i'm gonna put north star in the middle i'm gonna put sasquatch on the far side he has fortifier guardian i think i would probably run to be honest i probably should be switching them around because i know they're low star levels so I'm going to do that really quick and then come back. I'm going to stick Skirmisher on Guardian because I think that's what we're going to need. And then for I'll, I'm going to leave the rest the same, I think. Uh, but I'll be right back. Okay, we are back and uh, we do have Skirmisher now on Guardian. The reason for that is a lot of the reasons what I mentioned in my previous videos because it's slow star levels. He does have quite a few debuffs, and his special does not have enhanced focus, so I just want to make sure that things land, especially uh, at three star. Sasquatch is actually a two star, so keep that in mind, because that's basically simulating what it'll be like next Friday if you kind of unlock him for cores and you want to get started right away. That basically there's three star, north star, and uh, guardian, and two star on Sasquatch, and we're going to see how this ends up going. Uh, this is only my second time doing these nodes, actually. The first time was at 5-5. Five, five. And there's quite a bit of like new characters. From what I remember, you want to deal with this right hand side really over here. Um, fuck, I, I honestly like I forget like primary adjacent targets. It's unavoidable. I think I want to stun Forge. I think that's what I wanted to do. If I remember this correctly. There is a little bit of an order, honestly, uh, but I'm just going to try and do out some damage. I think Forge is really because. You know, otherwise he's going to really uh, start doing a lot of buffs and shit for some of the other characters. Can't really flip this, but you can flip some of these other characters. So I'm going to go for the alt anyways. Nightcrawler had safeguard there. And uh, we need to get the taunt up. I think that for the most part, I think you can actually like semi auto this, to be honest, uh, because of how the character, there's a lot of adjacent attacks and they seem to be grouped up together which is fine. So uh, I am going to I'm going to actually play it out, though, just in case, because I'm not super familiar with the nodes entirely. I do want to get rid of these other like Nightcrawler. I want to do something over here. I'm not that scared of over here on the Hulkbusters. They're pretty old characters. I mean, they might try to apply slow to me. I don't have disrupt, actually. But I go over here and apply slow to these characters. There's as you can see, like as soon as somebody dies, like, so much shit happens. I'm just going to go right... I probably should have gone for the ultimate. Wolverine's actually doing quite a bit of damage. It's quite surprising, like, how much his special even did there. We're going to go for the blind on Tigra. It's going to chain, and it's going to be a guaranteed blind every single time that Northstar does that, which is really great. So just so much stuff happens when people die. Uh, it's just crazy. So we're going to go over here. Who has a... Who can I hit for the striker? Uh, actually, I probably should have used my game lockup. I felt like this happened the last time I tried to do that ultimate, that there was, like, some lag. Let's go over here. Special. The special single target, is it? Oh, yeah, okay. I kind of forgot Sasquatch's attacks, to be honest. I, I haven't really paid too much attention to his kit. Uh, we're going to stun. Stun. I can't even see what's going on. Um, uh, I'm going to stun Mockingbird. I, maybe I should have stunned Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler's still alive, even though... Like he's been there from the beginning. I think we can kind of semi-auto this, to be honest. It seems this this node doesn't seem that bad. Kind of the, the it's, it's, it's the node to kind of like ease you into it a little bit here. So we're gonna do a semi-auto. I'm gonna try and ooh, I forgot that was. I thought he had his ability block. What happened? How did he get rid of that? I swear he had like multiple turns of ability block. So okay, we're gonna take it off. I think it should be fine because Sunfire does give. A uh, six energy, five energy, six energy. So on spawn, so it should be okay here. But we're just gonna, just for the sake of, uh, we're just gonna auto our way through here. I don't know where what happened to my auto basic button, but it doesn't seem to be around. So we're just gonna keep clicking the basic button, to get through this. 
And that's node one. It was actually really easy. Honestly, you could probably send that. Uh, I <laughs> I had a pretty easy time, and I imagine that with the auto, it would be targeting the same character. So you would end up getting that kill because it would just focus in on one character until they're dead. And then all the debuffs just splash out everywhere, as you saw, like multiple stacks of like debuffs. And so that's really key. As soon as a new wave drops down, you want to get someone down ASAP so you can spread the rest of the debuffs basically on everyone else. So this is node number two. Uh, this is going to be a bunch of random shit uh, here, but there's Team Morgan Le Fay's and some Spider Society in different ways. I do remember this part. And Morgan Le Fay's resistances is something I'm also a little bit concerned about. So we'll see that. And uh, I think you want to get rid of the paths before the other uh, Spider Society, especially Penny and Peter, come down. So that's going to be a priority when that happens. I think they're three waves. A lot of these nodes are three waves. So we're going to see about that one. So far, it's so good. Wolverine's a bit more impressive than I thought he would be, actually, at level 100. He's doing a lot of damage. Pav, yeah, he's going to go first, isn't he? Oh, fuck. And you, Pav. Okay, I'm dodging, though. That's good. Oh, I didn't get hit with a slow. That's nice. Oh, there's two Pavs. Oh, my God, that did a lot. Oh, I, you know what? I remember this node. I remember this node now. Okay, so we need to do a stun on Kang, I think. Matt Kang, we, we need to focus one of them down. So I'm going to actually go for the alt. I don't know if it's going to kill. Nah, it didn't do enough damage. But we might be able to do this here. Did it kill? No, not yet. Ooh, we had a lot of hit points. Now that Kang's going to go, isn't he? No, maybe not yet. We're, we're going to go down the middle here, though, with the ultimate. Get the trauma. Two turns of trauma on that one. He's so, he's so dead. Now he's dead. Okay, now we can spread those, all those debuffs and all stacks up. It starts to lag the screen a little bit here. Now, the question is, oh, yeah, so what can what can go really wrong is those paths at the very start that if they rebound the same target back and forth, like they could take a crap ton of damage and somebody can die right off the bat. Uh, that actually did almost happen to me when I ran this the first time. I'm taking a lot of damage here. There's a lot of incoming damage on this first note here. Uh, and I remember this distinctly from the first time that I did this, that basically you just have to survive. <laughs> For them to get through their turn, the paths need to go down as well. So we're going to go down here. I'm going to focus on trying to get them down. They drain, though. Alpha Flight drains like a shit ton of damage. So that part I'm not that concerned about. Tons of bleeds on Wolverine. I can't believe how much damage Wolverine does. I'm actually, honestly, really impressed with that. We're going to go over there for the blind. North Star. His attacks are really great. It's just like stacks of blind as well. It goes up plus one. You can see Pav has like three turns of that shit. It's crazy. Sasquatch's special does do a 100% turn bar. It's actually pretty crazy. I'm going to go over here on Capsan, though, because he's kind of off on the side, and I don't want him to taunt. And there we are, uh, looking pretty good already. Well, and then here we go, get, get the rest of the team down, Spider Society. And also keep in mind, Spider Society are getting raid buffs, so that's interesting. I'm going to go in for, I'm going to try and get a stun here on Morgan. She does not have defense up. I swear she spawned with defense up. Does she not? I'm actually going to go for a blind on this Morgan Le Fay. Because if she does get to her ultimate, it's going to miss. And then we're going to go for the kill on Kang. Even at offense down, it's still, it's still chained around. So that's good. Now they've all got stacks of debuffs again. Like, again, super important. Uh, this is on a cooldown of 7. I think I should be able to get this back. Just trying to be conscious about this because he gives on spawn five, six. Okay, but Sunfire Special has a cooldown of 10. <laughs> so you got to be really careful about that one because you might not actually start with that. Uh, everyone else should pretty much start with their attacks. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, and especially over here. I get Peter down. Rebound, 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 lots of damage. Oof. Yeah, so I'm not going to use Sunfire Special because I'm not sure if it would I don't think it would come back up, honestly. But everything else should. All the Sasquatch's skills would come back up. That's fine. That's fine. Lots of damage. This team is so, so far so good. I am being a bit slow. Probably if I had auto on, semi-auto even, this could probably go a little bit faster. I would imagine. This is D2, though. This is the maximum. So keep in mind if you have higher stars or once we do get more stars on these characters after their free to play event or, you know, because sometimes you'll have four, four star characters by the end of that. 
and we're good to go. That's node number two. So nothing too crazy so far, but this the start of this node can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. I do remember that Pav would bounce around and because there's two of them, and if they hit the same target, I've actually like come close to death. So I would watch out for that. And if you're trying to punch up on this content and not be level 95 or 100 uh, G18, like you're going to probably struggle on this node, I would expect, because you just take too much damage. Uh, node number three, uh, we didn't really get a chance to look at that. Uh, what is that? Void Knights in Gwenum. Some Infinity Watch. Uh, this one actually doesn't look... I don't think this one was that bad. Node two was actually kind of tough when I did it the first time. And actually, I had higher stars and my characters almost died. Now I'm like three star and two star and I'm still alive. So that's good news then, right? You know, that means that as long as you have the gear in the characters and keep in mind, you know, if you're running D0, or D1, it's going to be at a lower benchmark. It's going to be something like G16, G17, because that's typically how I would say it is. G16 for D0, G17 for D1, just to have a comfortable time anyways and not, you know, want to kill yourself. And so this one, I, I have tried punching up. It's not fun, especially with some of the spider societies on D2 at lower, in my opinion. Okay, we're having to eat some ability blocks. Ah, uh, yes, I remember this because they get uh, their raid bonuses. A lot of these enemies get raid bonuses, so that's fun. And basically, I don't have... We're going to... Because they all have defense up. I want to kill somebody first, right? So I'm actually going to go... I don't know who had less hit point. You know, I probably should have gone for the Gwenum, but Gwenum had defense up. So we're just going to go in over here. Oh, it cleared, actually. Oh, Sasquatch's basic does that. <laughs> okay, always gain offense up. Yeah, why not, right? Let's try to kill him. Probably would have done more damage, though, if we rebounded it, I think. More overall damage, anyways. Uh, we're going to go over here. Still going to go for that. Void Knight, try to get that one down. I probably should have gone for the Gwenum. The Gwenum would have had less hit points. Would have been a lot easier, actually. I'm going to stick it on semi-auto again. I think I'm comfortable with that. Like, this node doesn't scare me, really. It sucks that my characters got dragged together. But there isn't a lot of adjacent attacks here. Oh, like, <laughs> sorry, there was that. Yeah, <laughs> by Lavelle. Oops, kind of forgot. That actually, you know what? That actually did a lot of damage. I'm so glad that uh, my characters have death proof. We're going to focus over here uh, in terms of the attacks. Wait, night. No, let, let's get Phyla Bell down. Over here. Well, they got blind. That's fine. Can't clear that now. So let's go over to this Void Knight over here. Ooh, Spider-Man big time. Ghost Rider Robbie. Yeah, we need to get someone down ASAP just to spread more of those debuffs down. So that's going to be the next priority just to get a kill. And that's the whole thing here is that like when a new wave drops, you need to make sure I should have targeted somebody else that attack and take the auto off. You need to kill somebody and then make sure the rest of the stuff spreads. So we're going to go over here. Should cause debuffs on the rest of them. They haven't already. And uh, we're going to try and kill that Robbie. Oh, we did. Oh, <laughs> five million damage. Oh, my God. Wolverine is just a beast. He's an absolute beast. Oh my god, so much damage. Let's go for Photon now at this point, I think. Wow, 3 million crit for Sunfire? <sighs> That's not even with diamonds, either. I think the, the buffs that you're getting from the passives from these characters are just absolutely insane. Uh, the amount of stats that they have in Raid is just it's, it's incredible, honestly. Uh, we're going to get that back, so that's fine. I love the fact that Sunfire gives 6 energy so that's a lot oh my god okay so third node uh pretty good having a pretty easy time so far uh, there's two left there's the fourth and final alpha flight node and then there's the final boss now one thing that i will say actually i wanted to say this in the beginning if you have any people in your alliance that are going to be aiming for 70 percent of the raid uh the payouts you only need two people per team or six members in the entire raid to do their alpha flight sections there will be enough cleared of the nodes if you do two lanes of alpha flight nodes on each team or six total across your alliance that'll give you 70 percent assuming the rest of them do their spider society nodes that is of course uh so just wanted to let people know about that if you're aiming for 70 if you want to aim for 100 and you have uh what, what is that 12 people with alpha flight great but if you don't have that many people who are getting an early alpha flight access uh then don't worry about it if you do have six you can get your 70 percent assuming everyone clears 
uh, the people who do have it cleared their alpha flight nodes. And from the looks of things, as long as you're able to get them to like level 100 probably makes a difference like between 95 and 100. But I would say for how easy this seems to be that as long as you're 95 G18, at least, you know, maybe not simming, but at least for manual or semi-auto, you know, you should have an easy, a reasonable time. Now, this one does not look fun. I think you want to go for the stun and lizard. I recall this one a little bit because I didn't want him stealing a bunch of shit and getting like a real. I remember getting stuck behind that taunt. And I'm going to go for Viv because I think Viv has a, the least amount of hit points. I, or I, I think should. So we're going to go over there. Apply that slow and disrupt over there. We're going to try and get Viv down. I think Iron Patriot's attacks are unavoidable. So I don't know if blinding him would have made a, any difference. I'm actually surprised how fast that Lizard's going down. Okay, Lizard's dead. And there's offense down on everyone. Defense down slow and all that. So that's fine. I'm going to get hit, but we have safeguard. And he has offense down. So hopefully I don't die. Taking damage, though. Ooh, ooh, Sasquatch. Was that red? Is in red? Oh shit! Is he gonna die? Two star Sasquatch gonna die? <laughs> Maybe. There's a lot of enemies on this node. I actually think that this might be the time to uh, do an auto basic or just do an auto semi auto, like a directed. So we're gonna get Viv down, and then I think after that, I, honestly, I should have looked at the rest of the nodes. I don't remember what's here. But we're probably going to move over to Iron Patriot because they're newer characters. And that's Iron Man Infinity War, actually. I thought that was regular Iron Man for some reason. So far, so good. I Yeah, I don't rem I can't remember. I only, don't, I only did this note like once. Some barrier. We don't care about you. I mean, Hulkbuster is such an old character. Like, yeah, the barrier sucks. But in terms of his kit, like it's pretty outdated now. So I'm not really concerned. I'm concerned with the newer characters, honestly. Iron Man Infinity War, boom. We should have the new wave pretty soon here. There we go. Yeah, that's that's one. Oh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Um, um, oh, we need to kill someone. Oops, yeah, this is how it goes. There we go. Now we're going to move over here. We're going to take out Cosmic Ghost Rider. 9 out of 16. This one's a bit of a slower node. But still, there seems to be the damage to do it. I, I I don't know if this node would actually wipe on a sim. There's a lot of characters, and I have gotten stuck behind that lizard before when I didn't stun him on turn one. So that's something. There's another Iron Patriot and a Mr. Negative and another Cosmic Ghost Rider. So we're going to have to kill somebody. Who can we uh, We need to kill that Dark Hawk to spread debuffs. So that's the other thing. Like The semi-auto thing helps a lot. Because you really like that. You really need to kill somebody and trigger all of those negative status effects that happen as soon as somebody dies. Like, it's just like a chain reaction, basically, at that point. 7 out of 16 enemies. It's pretty slow, actually, just because there's so many enemies on this time. But you could think of it in some ways that maybe this was intended for two people. It was intended for two people, right? Like, the way that this raid works is that it was supposed to be in twos. That's exactly what was told to us before this raid came out. The intention of this raid was to do it in twos. Uh, now, what's going to be annoying for the Sim is Cosmic Ghost Rider being alive, giving Barrier. Well, actually, it's only just him. <laughs> oh, shit. Are we going to be stuck? No, yeah, Disrupt. Okay, that's fine. Mm. Probably Bleed Out, too. He's got, like, 11 Bleeds. Is that 11 Bleeds? I think it is. And we did it with like 50 seconds to spare. Oh God, he keeps getting, I need to take this off of auto because he's going to like keep getting barrier for the ultimates. See, I, I wanted to give uh, Fortifier to Sasquatch because he's going to be at low stars as well. So extra barrier for him, which is fine. I think he survived better that way. So that was node number four. The final note of the regular Alpha Flight section. Now, the boss has a, some character, a lot of characters on it. Honestly, uh, however, it does have Super Scroll, but it also has Black Knights, 
And part of the kits for Alpha Flight makes it so these guys cannot get charges. And so I think it's honestly built to also use Alpha Flight. I think they're just the best team to use for this node. You can use actually whoever you want. However, I think because of the mechanics, uh, well, I guess I would recommend things like also there's a scroll. Scroll gets torn apart, torn apart by characters like Old Man Logan. So if you do want to try Extreme X Men, uh, extreme, and same with Black Knight actually, if you want to try characters like uh, Extreme X Men, Old Man Logan, like I do on nodes one through two, one and two, uh, you could do that as well. But I think that it's really designed for using Alpha Flight. And at this point, you, you know, your entire raid would potentially be converging on this, so you could kind of do what you want. Now, you can't really stun him, right? You can't, you can't yeah, you can't stun Super Skull. So I, I don't know who I'd, Panda Pool. I, you know, I almost remember getting stuck behind Panda Pool. Is that a thing? I kind of remember that. You can stun him, right? Uh, against my better judgment, I am going to try and... He's going to get so much turn. Oh, no, no, it's sorry. That's another reason why you want to use Alpha Flight. I forgot. I'm an idiot. It, it's, it's because they it's not the charge part. It's because he can't get turn bar. So he's not getting turn bar for all of the shit that's going down. Right, because normally he gets 10 percent per positive and negative status effect, and that's not happening on, on Super Scroll. But you, you can tell that he's actually not taking a lot of damage. So uh, I'm going to try and kill that Panda Pool. Oh, we already killed one. Never mind. We're going to go over here. I'm going to go back and try to uh, take out Super Scroll because he's going down very slowly. Got a lot of health. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Alpha Flight, you can see, is just super important. Please don't taunt. Oh, he's disrupted. That's fine. Good. Lots of disrupt because you can just see stacks and stacks of negative status effects. So I'm just going to put this on auto on a scroll and then hope that he dies reasonably. I do realize that Sasquatch took a shit ton of damage from something. Uh... He should bleed out if anything there scroll will probably bleed out oh yeah this is this is um is this the the new version of black order with the one where like he gets this he gets the empowered form from just one person but there was the full team on board so i, I don't know what he is actually on this one oh, shield security i remember this that it was entirely there just to be a big giant pain in the dick because as soon as you get anyone to 50 percent, you know shield security is going to taunt and that, that's entirely why he's there. <laughs> I think this might be a two tap just because there's so many enemies and that you just might not have the damage even on semi auto here. I'm surprised we're doing this well. To be honest, I was not sure because the last time I did, like I said, was at five five and I'm kind of directing it. I'm kind of just moving from one character like like the threat targets that I think is going to be a threat. Now we have Black Knight. Now Black Knight in this version is quite nerfed. He does not. Oh well, maybe not. Or he doesn't come with the charges anyways. I forgot. It's all Alpha Flight. So he could. Because I'm not sure. Because on the one in the Old Man Logan trial, or was it? Or was it the Tower Mode kiln that he was nerfed? And so I'm not sure if he actually comes with his charges or not. Because we're using Alpha Flight, so we, he wouldn't have it anyways. If he does, <laughs> that's another reason why you would want to use Alpha Flight for this section. And as you can see, it's actually pretty easy. And we did a lot of damage. Sunfire is kind of impressive too, with the result, to be honest. But I think a lot of it, I really like Wolverine for some reason. On my main account, I actually do have one diamond on Sunfire and Wolverine both. So definitely worth it. And I would honestly just G18 all these characters. So I think, you know, this is a pretty, pretty easy with Alpha Flight. And yeah, I thought at first that maybe we would need uh, two attacks on this. I wouldn't sim it. Because I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, shit. I didn't have safeguards, so that wasn't good. <laughs> Am I going to bleed out? <laughs> shit. Maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, we're at four. We're at four. Is anyone going to die? Oh, shit. Guardians let out. Oh, my God. <laughs> we're dying like right. Okay, I should have paid attention. I didn't honestly didn't think that Void Knight was going to do that to me. I think we're okay. I think we recovered with the drain. But that's something to watch out for. So when you're running this node, there we go. Almost dead. Ooh. Okay, good news. Yeah, that's we're fine. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good. That did a lot of damage. Wow. Okay, 40 seconds to spare. So that was the boss node as well. So that was all five nodes 
run with alpha flight not a pro at least on the test server right subject to change where's my button subject subject to change just in the off chance that the live servers are harder than the test server normally it's the other way around the test server is actually harder than the live servers uh, but nonetheless, we did beat it with a free to play version of Alpha Flight on difficulty two, Spotlight Raid. So I hope that some of this was helpful. Um, it does seem that you have a risk of timing out. I do not personally recommend simming. So I would recommend the semi auto fashion that I just used, which is kind of like uh, targeting the what I would say is the key enemies. One thing to kind of point out was that Alpha Flight node number two. This was probably the hardest one here and making sure that the paths go down and I think node number three as well. No, not node number three. It was no, 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 the boss one. No, node number four, I think. Making sure you get that stun on Lizard. So there's a few things where you need to watch out for. But otherwise, uh, this looks good. Uh, two, three star seems to be okay. And that's great. Uh, great news for all the free-to-play players out there. And I hope this was helpful. This is the end of the video. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, everybody. Until next time, stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you on the event video tomorrow for the North Star Guiding Lights event. Uh, Boylan, signing out.